One day, James had to wait at the station until Edward and his train came in. This made him cross. Light again! Edward laughed, <laughs> and James fumed away. After James had finished his work, he went back to the yard and puffed onto the turntable. He was still feeling very bad tempered. Hate what is impossible! He grumbled to the others. He clunks around like a heap of old iron, and he is so slow, he makes us late. Thomas and Percy were indignant. Old iron? Slow? Why ever could be doing the race any day? Oh really? Said James. Well, I should like to see him try. Next morning, James's driver was suddenly taken ill. He could hardly stand, so the find that Uncle James ready for shunting. James was impatient. Suddenly, the signalman shouted. There was James puffing away down the line. All traffic halted. He announced at last. Then he told the fireman what had happened. Two boys were on James's footplate fiddling with the controls. Phew! They tumbled off and ran when James started. Signalman answered the telephone. Yes, he's here right. I'll tell him. The inspector's coming at once. He wants the shunter's pole and a coil of wire rope. Whatever for? What the fireman? Search me, but you better get them quickly. The fireman was ready when Edward arrived. The inspector saw the pole and a rope. Good man, jump in! We'll catch him, we'll catch him! Puffed Edward. James was laughing. What a laugh, what a laugh! He chuckled to himself. Suddenly, he was going faster and faster. He realised that he had no driver. What should I do? I can't stop! Help! Help! We're coming! We're coming! Called Edward. <laughs> Edward was padding up behind with every ounce of steam he had. At last he caught up with James. Edward! Help me! Steady, Edward! Called his driver. The inspector saw Edward's front holding a noose of rope in the crook of the shutter's pole. He was trying to slip it over James's buffer. The engine swayed and lurched. At last! Got him! He shouted. He pulled the noose tight, gently braking. Edward's driver checked the engine's speed, and James's fireman scrambled across and took control. So, the old iron caught you after all. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me, Edward. You were very splendid. That's alright, James. I forgive you. The engines arrived at the station side by side. So Tom and Hatt was waiting. A fine piece of work, he said. James, you can rest and then take your train. I'm proud of you, Edward. You shall go to the works and have your worn parts mended. Oh, thank you, sir, said Edward. It'll be lovely not to clank. 